in this chapter we have looked at all kinds of energy at least five kinds but actually more in the world and the most common one that we use every day for sure is actually electrical energy so anyway energy conversions are happening every single day whether we know it or not like now you are hearing my voice there's lots of electrical energy being converted to heat computer is hot right screen is hot touch a screen converted to sound energy vibrations in the air that's why you can hear my voice talking to you and just so much happening that's why we study energy now if you've ever wondered actually how much energy do we use hmm that's a good question to answer today what is power how do we quantify the transfer of energy let me give you a hint if you take any electrical appliance such as this charger i have behind me charging phone an oven a kettle an aircon even a lamp a light bulb you may or may not see that this you will see this um 120 w this is watts what what w a t t and this is like the power rating how fast this charger can convert electrical energy into something for your phone okay if it's a heater how fast can this device convert electrical energy electricity into heat for example it's all about the conversion so officially we define power as a rate energy conversion remember this is called the rate of in the short form you can say rate of work done or the rate where energy is being transferred or converted so i can write here also light blue possible answers a uh, rate of energy transfer or converted into other forms say for example from gpe into kinetic energy that's a form of power okay so the important key here keyword here is the word rate what is rate rate whenever you see it's like a per unit time force per unit time those kind of thing so the the, the equation that we're going to start off with here is power rate of work done strictly speaking we can say supposed to be dw dt la. d by dt is rate of work done but if we want to simplify a little bit we can say oh this is like energy change per unit time so the actually proper one is de dt and change of energy is work done so we just say oftentimes we simplify to just work divide by time yeah that's a simplified acceptable method for it okay and this is really the first main equation that you will want to remember oh man this is big there we go that's better okay first equation remember rate of energy change means change in energy over a certain amount of time there is one thing you need to know though sometimes you will see energy time graphs such as the one right here so this case when you see an energy time graph and i ask you where is the maximum power the first thing you should remember is rate of work done what does it mean to have a rate of work done ah reminder reminder rate of work done is also de dt right and that's the gradient of an energy time graph which is the one that you see on the right side so if i give you and i ask you where is the power the greatest you have to look where is the gradient the steepest look and look and look mm, i think this highlighted part look at the gradient so steep so this part is where you have the maximum power why because power is the gradient the rate of change or transfer of this energy so how to find you do gradient now okay this is from a past year I'll, I'll let you go find out where this past is but you can find this thing and this is the gradient is maximum here okay there's another few forms of this power equation i'm going to show you all of them so this is the general formula right change in energy over time but also we learned before previously that when we say uh, work done you can also talk of it in terms of force and dot by displacement and these are all vectors a reminder per unit time or a period of time and don't forget we're talking about a change so i'm going to add on the delta eh, let's just do this delta or d in physics we kind of treat it a little bit interchangeable so this is delta df ds dt now the condition is if f is constant we can take it out of the d by dt kind of rate thing so i'm going to say here if the force is constant we have to either make some assumptions or the question will tell us then we can say this is just force 
times ds dt. And these are still vectors. Hmm, interesting. Where have we seen ds dt before? Change in displacement over time. Oh, that's velocity. Exactly. So the next form of this power equation is power equals to the force f dot v but in simplified form we just say f times velocity and this is another equation that you will see pretty commonly but it comes with a condition if f is constant whether that's average or whether that's a um, other kind of force so sometimes you might have to say oh this maybe is going to be p average equals to the average force times velocity sure we'll look at some examples for that later uh, maybe you should say oh maybe this is an instantaneous like at this moment of one second, I have the force at this moment, but the force is changing. Also can. So that's what it means by depends on your frame. Are you looking at the average over a certain duration? Your delta T, remember? Or are you looking per unit time at this instant? It depends, but you can still use the equation. Last notes about power that we need to know is the unit. So your unit of power, we have a very interesting name. It's named after someone famous who discovered something. What is the name? What is the name? No, the, the name is what? Ayya. What is the unit? We often use the symbol W. 20 watts, 30 watts. That just means how much joules per second. So we can say watts or if you break it down into the units, that will be joules per second. Because remember, energy per time. Ah, And this is, by the way, a scalar quantity. We don't have direction already. Although force... And displacement got direction, but when you dot two vectors together, there is no direction in the end for power. We just say got power la, power la, don't care power to which direction. Now one last thing to add on is hmm, is we 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 will learn this a little bit more later, but oh specifically for electrical energy, there's a special power equation. So I'm gonna write it down as well, because you will encounter it in the past here a little bit. So note, side note. For electrical power. We have a special series of equations, but the very first one that you will need to know for now is P, power, equals to two things, current times voltage. This is current. This is voltage. There we go. So a side note, we will see more, uh, more explanation or more usage of this in chap the chapter of electricity and circuits. But for now, I just need to know there's this basic one, current times voltage for electrical power. But I think that's all for today. Basics on power. Go and try out some past questions to be sure how to apply. Don't be deceived. Equation simple. You need to really analyze the system that you'll be looking at. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.